I'm going to share with you what, uh, what I experienced uh, early on with, uh, with this device. I also have a financial interest. I am a consultant to Excellence and uh, Capsulaser. So what are the learning objectives actually? I, I want to go to you, with you step by step of what the system uh, is, look, looks like and what we have to do to, to make it work. So at the end of this presentation, I hope you will be able to describe the setup and use of the system, identify the, each of the clinical steps, and be able to solve, to identify and operate the controls and to solve any possible problems which can go along with every surgery we, we know of. So this is how the, the, the front panel of the laser console looks like. Yeah. First, of course, you have to switch on the power. Important. And make sure that this, the socket is into the electrical one, because otherwise it doesn't work. Secondly, insert the electronic procedure key yeah, for, for, ten, for 10 cases. Third, you can select the required diameter of the capsulotomy, uh, as if you've seen between 4.5 and six millimeters in 0.1 millimeter steps. And before you go ahead, make sure it is in the standby mode because you, you do not press accidentally the foot pedal and activate the laser. You do not want that unless you're fully ready for it. So how is the surgical protocol? First, you prep your eye as you normally do, so you dilate the pupil, sounds obvious. You rinse the cornea with BSS, and then you make two side port paracentesis as, of course, what is in your routine case. As I've shown you this, what I do normally, uh, I do my paracentesis like that. But that's, that's to your own discretion. Then the anterior surface of the cornea is covered with the capsule gel. It's the uh, special brand from... Uh, from excellence, it's a methylcellulose solution. Right? So, and wh why is it important? Because when you're applying the dye and you by accident maybe spill or drop of the tripan blue onto the epithelium, the epithelium will, will be colored and the laser cannot go through. So first cover your, your cornea with the methylcellulose so you will not get into trouble. Secondly, you will use the capsule blue uh, to create that, and Pavel already showed it, and this is one of my first cases. And I used actually, the, the, the cannula I used was a little bit too large, but okay, this is one of my first cases. And gently inject, not push, no, do not create a lot of flow into the eye. And uh, when it looks like this, you can retract your, your, your uh, device, and you wait for at least 20 seconds. Uh, I found out that 30 seconds is even better because you need a uniform and nice staining of your capsule. And then you go into your, your eye and you rinse out the dye with at least five milli milliliter of, of BSS. And you need to get rid of that dye into your anterior chamber because otherwise the laser will be captured into the anterior chamber uh, by the dye and you lose some energy because you, lose all, you need to use all the energy to create your rexes. Then backfill the anterior chamber with the capsule visc uh, OVD. They, specific, they, they found out that this kind of viscoelastic was the best to transmit all of the energy to the capsule and the dye on the capsule. And ensure that no air bubbles are present. Of course, in this video there is an air bubble. And, but no worries, so you just inject the OVD, and as you can see, the air bubble goes, goes away. And actually, in the beginning, I did not fill my eye enough. You have to overfill a little bit, not too much, but overfill a little bit. That's a, you have a firm, firm eye, and that all of the worms of your OVD are gone. You don't want to have BSS left in your antigen chamber. It has to be filled completely with OVD. Then select the ready mode on your, on your capsule laser system. Actually, your, 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 laser, your nurse will do it or someone else in the operating theater. Then you need to verify that there are two circles. The outer circle you have to align to the pupil 
and the inner circle is actually where you will create your rexes. Then use the microscope to adjust. I will show you later on how to do it. And um, the first dot you see, so the big one, is actually the, the laser is coming from a side, so it's actually the reflection from the corner. And it is the, the smallest dot, the smallest red dot, which you have to align to the outer circle. And that is the, 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 the right position of the laser. Now this is the correct position, so the, the smallest dot is at the outer circle. That's perfect. When the, the circle, the, 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 the dot is, is higher, which means that you're actually in the lens, you're too low, so when you depress now your foot pedal of your laser, you will shoot into your crystalline lens and not on the capsule. So what you have to do, you have to, to bring the patient and the eye back up with your controls. Or when you look like this, it looks like this, so the, 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 the dots are more into the circles, then you are actually focusing in the anterior chamber. And when you're pressing your foot pedal, you will deliver the energy into the anterior chamber, chamber, anterior chamber, closer to the cornea, which of course you do not want. Now apply again capsule gel onto the cornea and place the interface on the cornea and firmly. In the beginning I was a little bit afraid, well not afraid, but you're always, when you're adapting to a new technology, you are uh, trying to do it gen gently and you create air bubbles and of course then dissipation of laser energy and this is not good. So this is how it looks like. So applying some methyl cellulose, a capsule gel, onto your cornea. Make sure there are no bubbles. And then you firmly place your interface onto the cornea. And make sure that you press down a little bit. Then position the patient, uh, the microscope, and then be in line. And, uh, well, actually, you have to make sure that uh, the outer red circle is in reference symmetrically to, to, the, to the pupil, and the inner one will give you the, uh, the capsule rexis. So here I am uh, adjusting, I'm pressing, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm talking to the patient, I'm looking to the red blinking light, and only press the foot pedal when you're absolutely sure you're exactly in the right position, as you can see here. And, and take care of that. So this is what, uh, this is the continuing video. And you will see, okay, when you're in the right position, you can press the foot pedal. It's fast, as you've seen with, uh, with Pavel's uh, videos. It's only one second, but make sure, and that, that is actually, you have to, it's a small learning curve, and you have to play with your foot pedal of the microscope and gently maneuvering with your patient interface and make sure that your patient is comfortable. So this is how it looks like after you press the foot pedal. And uh, it's actually very nice that your capsule dye is still there. It makes your life much easier as, as a cataract surgeon. Normally we only apply this when you have a dense cataract. But in these cases actually it, it makes life much more easy. After completion of the treatment, uh, the system automatically transitions to standby mode. So even when you press the foot pedal again, nothing will happen. And you create your main phaco incision. That's also a very good tip. Do not create your phaco incision before uh, doing that because uh, the anterior chamber can lose, can, can lose some, some substance and uh, you don't want that. So only create it after it. And also when you make your incision, and for instance, when you make your incision a little bit more away from the, from, from the, the limbus, you create some blood. The blood can go in between your patient interface and the cornea and also will block the laser. So these are little tips and tricks which makes your life much more uh, easy. So in conclusion, what, are, what, what did I learn and what are the most important things to look for is, first of all, you need a uniform blue appearance of the capsule. This is essential. Rinse it and extensively with BSS. In my first cases, I rinsed it, but there was still some, uh, some uh, tripen blue into the interior chamber, and then you see that not all the laser energy is transmitted right to the capsule. These are, these are not big mistakes, but the small mistakes which makes it um, uh, worthwhile. Fill the anterior chamber with OVD, and I had to fill it more than I was used to. 
So when you do a manual CCC, you would not do it like this. You overfill it a little bit and make sure that there's no strands visible of the OVD. And last but not least, learn to focus. Uh, so you play with your microscope, you already focus. And, and remember that when bef you focus before you put the patient interface, but you will press down a little bit. So actually you have to focus a little bit deeper before you place your patient interface. Because by pressing down, you will be closer to your, your final focusing point. And then you can press a foot pedal. So I thank you very much for your kind attention.